Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. I'm SV and we are continuous work with Unreal Engine 4. So we are continuous make our 2D game. If you are don't check my previous tutorial, please do it because today we are just continuous. So now I will create some mounts. Um, I take some, I don't know, maybe some tree, copy paste and rename. It will be mountain. Open. And what we have to change? First of all, all three I will change for mountain. And trees here I change for. I think I put without any any mistake. So uh, we are going for mountain for this array compile and we are change these trees for mountain. Where is? We will start from number one. Sorry, from zero. One and like this we are put. So if you are not understood now what is going on, uh, you have just checked my some previous tutorial and after that come back to this tutorial because um, I'm not losing time for every my video to explain what is going on. I just continues make a game. So my idea, my idea to finish these two games in shortest period. I think six. Yeah. Yeah. Now it will be seven. Okay, so I have 10, 11 different mount, uh, mountains. Very nice. Like this. Um, so our third priority for render, I will put uh, from 21 to 40. It will be something like that. I no need any range of size. So promote to spin structure. Um, and 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 this will be zero or maybe no zero twenty five zero twenty five zero twenty five i already know this size it, it size will be of new my uh paper sprite okay something like that compile after that i am going for my spawn actor and we will add now mountain so i just going to copy something like that copy and somewhere here, paste. Okay, I cannot see nothing. Why? Something, some problem. Maybe I have to make like this. Yeah, now I have it. Very good. So, first of all, actors will be mountain. Then this event I will rename for spawn mountain. Something like that. Uh, nothing change, nothing change. Velocity, speed. Speed will be minus 75. Uh, what else? Now I change time when it coming. I don't know. It will be from 1.5 up to 4 seconds. Something like that. It depends. And then I'm going back for spawn mountain. So, and don't forget, yes, to start this uh, area. We are compile now. Mountain. Uh, to start again this, uh, to start from beginning this mountain, I have to start somewhere here. I make one more array, put somewhere here. And spawn mountain, something like that. So what I will do now, select it, put C, and this will be like a starter. Maybe something like this. I give the name something like starter. So it will be a little bit, little bit bigger. Okay, save, compile, and start to play. So what I get now? Jump, and by jump, as you remember, I start my spawning. So, I still cannot see my mountain. And question is why? Why I cannot see it? Uh, 
Okay, so I have many different, many different problems. Spawn we are called function, spawn finish spawn actor, return value, blah, 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 blah. All project moving components. So we are going here and we will check where is the problem. Where is, where is, where is the problem? Hmm. Very strange. Really very strange. Why I have this problem? So maybe start again. I not understood clearly. So again, I cannot see any mount. Stop. And again, I have many problem. Now we will try to see what's the problem. Set velocity in local space. Here is problem. Why? Minus 75. This is a problem. And I not understood why. Okay, if I put minus 100, compile and play. Maybe they don't like to receive 75 or something else. I don't know. Now we will see. Stop. Again, I have error. And again, I not understood why. Mm -hmm. Runtime error. Trying to read property value. So looks like I found a problem. Uh, my spawn uh, transform location is 800. So if I increase, for example, for 1000, uh, yeah, problem is, where is the problem? Somewhere here coming spawn of my mounts. But this is, as you remember, is our destroyer box. Destroyer box. And my uh, mounts already touching this destroyer box. And maybe due to this reason, I have some problem. Uh, so for a moment, I little bit increase uh, uh, this distance and now I will try to play. Maybe now it will work. We will see. Okay. As you can see, I have some mounts, mountains. Very good. And no any error coming. So if I'm going back, for example, for 800 and try play again looks like i again have some problem what's the problem stop yeah i have again problem so we will use it for 1000 it doesn't matter we will use for 1000 and other problem uh, my mountains somewhere downstairs so i have go to sprite i have go to mountains select them, edit, and put our pivot mode, like I told you before, bottom center, something like that. Save, close. Bottom center, save, close. And like this, I will do with all mountains. If during creating of your game somewhere you will get a problem, please comment me, send me some message. I will try to help you. Like I told you, I am not so professional in Unreal Engine 4, but in present moment, in present moment, uh, I'm able to create very, very simple 2D game from scratch to final product. So maybe my experience will help you. Okay, so Check what we get now. Start to play. Jump. Okay, as you can see, I have some mountain. And it's moving very fast and I don't like it. So maybe I just stop going to my blueprints, open my spawn, and somewhere here I make it minus 75. So play now, and I hope I will get some parallax effect. So we will see. Mm 
Yeah, you see, very nice. I have some parallax effect. And my mouse looks like very nice also. If you don't know how to create it, just check of my some first tutorials uh, with Cinema 4D. There is very simple, uh, simple tools how to create a very beautiful mouse. Okay, very nice. So now I will try to lose. And as you can see, now I have nine. Very soon will be finished. Okay, game over. My score, 10. Very nice. Uh, what's the problem? Now I found one more problem. For example, when I, uh, yeah, I will show you one more time, yes? Okay. Now we will try to make some, uh, some debug. Okay. For example, now I will overjump and coming point one. But if I don't overjump, coming point two. So I don't like to receive point if I touch, if I touch this uh, drum. Uh, there is one way. For example, we can make, um, we can go to my drums. Just a moment. Where is this drum? Drum? Drums over here? No. We can go to my pawn. Yeah, we are going to my pawn, and somewhere here we have a live collision. Yes. When I, when I collide a drum. Uh, I have camera shake, my life is going out, and I will make like this, and I make a destroy actor. And for question is which actor I have to destroy, I will take this drum, something like that. So now I put it some down, something like this. So, uh, and when my drum will, uh, will be destroyed, I'm not touch it and it's not coming for calculation. So, check and play. Look at this. Start jump. Yeah, don't look that in beginning I have nothing. Uh, later we will create this uh, beginner atmosphere. So, look at this. I am jump, it's calculated for points. But if I'm not jump, you see is is destroyed and not calculated the points now i will take a points only when i over jump some drums so i think it's good idea and it will be more correct you see yes i'm touch and going end okay if i play again coming game again you remember how we are created very nice what is this what we have live branch pause game game over widget yeah yeah game over widget so we are selected make like this and put game over with jet maybe we are forget to make it before so very nice what we can make now uh, let's check so now we can try to save our game uh, so it's complicable to understood but if you are follow my tutorial 100% you will found some uh, way how to do it more easily. Okay, first of all, we have to create new blueprint. New blueprint. We are going blueprint class and here we will put, if it's close, you have to open all class. We, can, we have put save game. You see, yeah, it's new blueprint class. Select and add. So we are call it my save game something like that so open that and check what we have what we have inside everything what we are put inside can be saved so i create one variable we are create and give a name high score okay and this variable will be integer because i just to receive some number compile and nothing more we no need nothing more uh, what we are doing now now we are going somewhere in any my actor so usually i use my pawn any actor which i have on the scene so many information i take from here okay we are create new custom event custom event 
we are calling it like a safe game doesn't matter you can give any name what you like we can make like this after that we are at some node you are put save and here you have does save game exist something like that so this is like a checker it's checking if my game already was saved before or not uh, slot name here you have to give any name so you can put a like my save or my new game save doesn't matter just put any name what you like but please remember this name so i put only my save it will be very easy for me after that i put some branch something like that so and i have two ways like i told you before yes if Unreal Engine, if my game finds that I have this, my save, I already have this small, like a file or saving options, is going for true. If I haven't any saving game, is going to false. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, we will create how to save it. For example, my game didn't find this information. I'm going to fails. So, I'm going here and I create save game object, something like that. Create. And save game class. Where is will be this object? This object will be inside my save game actor. You remember we are created, oh, sorry, not actor, blueprint. You remember we are created. So just select it. Don't forget to select it. Very nice. What we are doing next? Next, we have to create some variable. Just promote and make it variable. Something like this. So, here we give a name, like a save, doesn't matter. Save variable, save. So, I take some information from here, put to save variable, and now what I have to do now? Now I have call from this area, high score just make like this and call get high score but we need not get we need a set high score so what we need to save it's mean i take some variable from uh, my pawn and put this variable inside high score something like that after that when i create some variable i have to put this variable inside somewhere so I'm going back and I make save game to slot, something like this. You see, yeah, save game to slot. What I save, I save this one, this variable from this area. So it's mean in any actor, wherever I like, I can save everything. But before you have to save. You have to create some variables and then in any drum spawn somewhere you can save something. So, and very important information you have put here, slot name. As you remember, we are put my save, slot name. I have to put same. My save, absolutely same. It's mean, uh, when I just start, Unreal Engine check it. If I already have my save, if I don't have my save, I am going here and create save object. This save object will be high score. After that, I put this information to my save. Next time when I come in and Unreal Engine check it, does save game exist, my save, and in next time it will be find it. So I am going to true. When I am going to true, what I have to do? Going up. Here we are create save game object, but here we have a load. Where is? No, we can put loading game from slot, something like that. So, and very simple. If I have this my save, I have load from my save. Now question, what I have load from my save? So I have to cast to my save object, my save, like this, yes, and take from this my save object, take high score, get it. 
Okay? Like this. I already have it. Then I put some branch. What next? I take this. Where is, where is, where is, where is my score? Yeah, I just load. Yes, I no need nothing more. Now what I create. So uh, I take my score from this area, get. And if my score will be more or equal high score, so if will be like this and I take more points than my previous high score, which is already saved, I'm going to this branch and going on top. I am again create save game object inside in this my uh, game save blueprint. I again take this save, uh, how it's calling save uh, variable. What I'm doing next, next I taking high score, set high score. This new high score will be with same information like my real score from my game now, something like that. And then I save to slot, save game to slot, something like this. So it will be my save, same slot. Okay, very nice. Put like this, make it more beautiful to easily check what is going on. Something like that. So what I have, what I have, again, save game, checking if I have already saved file or not. If I haven't, I'm going to create some variable and some information inside in my save game. And after that, I put this information to my save slot. But if I already have my save, I am just loaded this. After that, I am check if my score, present score, more or equal high score, I save new slot with new high score. I take score and put inside new high score. So I very hope you understood what is going on. Now remaining only one, now remaining uh, you remember, yes, we are creating a save game. We are now we are have call this function somewhere. So where is we are do it? Uh, every time when my score calculation check it. So every time when I over jump a drum, coming speed update and additionally coming save game. You see something like that. So I have to. First of all, it will check for speed update and then I will call save game. Call this function, this event. Now I select everything, put C and put some comment. Save game, something like that. Very nice. Compile and, 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 and how to check it. We are going to our widget. You remember we, we are have somewhere widget with game over, something like that. We are open that, going to animation, just put a little bit forward. I have high score, where is 8-8, eight, eight, you see. So I take it and like before I create for your score, I create also for high score. I am going here from text, create a bind. You remember, yeah, it is your score, but I create new bind, something like that. Just make it a little bit longer. And what we will do, we are have to call our save game slot. It's very simple. We are load, load game from slot. You remember name of this slot? My save. So yeah, for your information can be many slots. You can save in any slots different information, but really it's, it's not necessary. Maybe if you are create some very difficult game, some something like that, you can do it. So like that. After that, we are make a we are make a high score. Yes, yes. No, we are have to cast to my save game. Yeah, we are cast. We can make pure something like that because I I am sure that I have it. 
So after that we are take high score and then I put this high score here. Something like that. Very nice. So it is done. Compile and start to play. So uh, now I haven't any saving game. It's mean when I'm first time over jump any drum, I uh, the Unreal Engine, the my game will create a first saving. We will check. So one, two. Now I try to die. It means in present moment my high score will be two, and my uh, present score will be two. We will see. Okay, my score two, high score two. Very good. What we will do next? We are play again. And now we will try to make more, for example, or maybe one, just, just I show you if it's working or not. I just overjump one drum and then I'll die. Overjump one drum and then I'm going to die. Almost two drums more. Okay, and what I get? My score one, but high score two. Very nice. So I am quite the game and play again. And every time I already have this my save and I already have this saving everywhere. So today we are finish it. Mountain, we are make some spawn. This mountain uh, uh, inside my game. We are create some save game options now we can save game and we are make some small update for our widget uh, game over widget so thank you very much for watching um, see you next time uh, don't forget to subscribe put like and share with your friends goodbye friends